All right, well, halfway through the second week with the first module groups, uh, the site's going really well. The weather's finally broke a bit, so we're a bit warmer today. Um, you can see the team down here are busily planning all the, uh, the, the new archaeology we revealed at the back of Quadrant 3. Um, it's quite a time-consuming process. Have to spend a lot of time uh, making sure the, the planning frames end up in the right place, measuring them in, getting them level, so that the drawing stays accurate, which is much more difficult up here because of the slopes we're working on. Um, so it, it's certainly not a quick process, um, but they're doing a lovely drawing. If you have a look at this, So it's coming together really well. Um, very impressed. Nice, uh, nice pencil work on that. Not bad for a bunch of beginners. Not bad at all. And they're having a wonderful time. Look, Amber's even smiling. Today. <laughs> and Eric's having fun. Look, having a wonderful time. There we go. Not sure about Abby down there. What's Abby doing? <laughs> oh dear. Um, but uh, I think we've we shown you what was going on in this trench with the, the wall of the enclosure coming around here and the presumably then the, the later field wall built up against it. Um, so once that's planned and we've um, got the levels on it, um, we'll be taking off these interior deposits um, and hopefully start revealing the rest of the, well another spread of pits and post holes and all the wonderful things we found in quadrant four should really should continue straight through this trench that's, that's what we're hoping so sometime next week we ought to be down into that um, and that will uh, that'll have a big effect on how we, we're interpreting the site um, whether we find proper plans of uh, proper designs of a house inside there or a building if that's what the post holes add up to or maybe it's going to be um, something slightly different where it is possible now, now this enclosure looks smaller, maybe it's the walls of a big building and that the post holes will be internal roof supports for that building. But that's very speculative at the moment. So, next week we should find out. Now down here, we've done a lot of gardening. Now we're not digging this area this year. Um, so, what we do, are doing is we cleaned up the site, we trimmed back all the vegetation that was concealing what was going on and I think we've we've come to the conclusion that there's four elements to the site here. We've some sort of circular building or circular foundation going on there, it's probably not showing up very well on the camera. The main element is this one here which is a big a uh, stone structure, maybe a, a little hut of some sort or um, a shelter. Um, this is the bit that's often been proposed as the uh, megalithic gallery and now we've got all the um, the rushes and the, the, the reeds out of here we can see it and it really doesn't look very megalithic at all so at this stage I'm thinking this is a, a much more recent building of some sort. Still got to figure out exactly what it is. Um, down here, with the little stone thing that we thought might be a possible structure of some sort, it's not looking very promising. Um, this really just looks like some collapse that's fortuitously formed up in a little U shape. Now we can see it a bit clearer. I mean, we'd have to dig it up to, to prove that, but that's not looking particularly good now. And then finally we've got the field wall coming through and you can see Carolyn standing on it there, proudly demonstrating her, her new field wall. And that's coming through from way over at the team, as you'll know, comes all the way in and comes through here. We can see a bit more of it. These stones are part of the collapse of it probably. And then it comes into the site right there. And that actually matches up with what we were seeing in that, um, in quadrant two last year so i think once we've got this recorded we'll be able to match it up i'll be able to say okay th that element is the field wall coming across and higher up is the rest of the uh, the enclosure walls and it's actually going in behind the back of this little building here now what the guys are doing 
is a detailed topographic survey across the area. So Cameron here is just helping them set up. Um, and Carolyn, they're um, taking height measurements every 50 centimetres across this whole area, which are then going to be able to uh, generate a 3D model of the, the topography of the site, which will join on to the one there. So we've got the whole area now, I don't know, uh, but 12 by 16 or something like that. Um, we'll be able to pop up a, a 3D model of the whole thing, show what it looked like before we started. And once that's done, we're going to draw a detailed 1 to 20 plan of this area. And that'll, um, that'll really show up the archaeology. Um, so matched with the final excavations over in the western half, we're going to have a really good picture of what's going on at this site, even if we don't quite understand the date of some of the elements, at least for the first time, we can be fairly confident that we know what's on the ground here. So that, frankly, is a huge success. Um, so lots of things going on. I'm going to leave you with a lovely view of Kim Bay and Caroline and Cameron.